You talking about how pretty I am again? Oh, I'll get a new subject, boys. What are you doing home? Well, I have to be at the inn late tonight, so I thought I'd come and feed Paul Anka, take him for a little walk, work out our crosswalk issues. Well, Tom here it was it's not Tom, my fault. I wasn't going to say it was your fault. Uh, you've got, it's Tom's fault, tone in your voice. Uh, he, he's got to shut your water off for a couple of days. We had a pipe that shouldn't have been hit. Tom! I, see how fast the it's Tom's fault tone has yeah. spread? You can stay with me. Okay, well, I got to get back to work. That wedding party's coming in tonight. No, I'll gather up some of your stuff. Last time you gathered up some of my stuff you accidentally brought me four bras and no pants that could have been intentional i will get my own stuff thank you <laughs> Ooh, now i just have to figure out what to do with paul anka you know i've never left him alone so late before and he might start doing that howling thing the neighbors are so fond of but well that's okay so <gasps> you know i guess i could just leave him here and i can come back and get him after work which will be oh two three four in the morning <laughs> boy late or I could drop him off at a kennel for a few hours. I know there's a good one in Woodbridge, 20 miles away. <laughs> of course, I'd have to leave now and pick up some dilithium crystals on the way to fix the warp drive in my Jeep so that I could drive there and back in time to meet the wedding party back at the end, but that's doable. Yeah. And then, of course, by the time I get off work and drive all the way back there, the kennel will definitely be closed, so I'd have to break in, and that would set off some kind of security system, and then I'd be arrested, and so I should probably put a nail file in my shoe. And how much longer are you going to make me do this? I just wanted to see how long you'd go on. Well, you know my babbling capabilities are infinite. I'll take the dog home with me and points for the dilithium crystal reference. Well, when you sleep with geeks. <laughs> hey. I just talked to my buddy, Tony Benzino, who's a contractor over in Hartford, and he says contractors... Don't fetch lunches for the crew. They do, however, get to answer the phone, and they do get to sign for things and order things. And, Tom, there is no such thing as a mystic hammer. And after this very enlightening conversation, you know what I'm starting to think? What? I'm starting to think that I'm not really the contractor on this job. <laughs> Look, TJ... Yeah, it's okay, Luke. I got this. TJ... We did this for your own good. We got you out of the house, you got paid, you didn't get hurt. Look at it that way. Oh, yeah? Is that the way I'm supposed to look at it? Well, fine. You can keep your stupid, phony contracting job. I'm through playing your patsy. I'm through running your errands. Hold on, that's no mail. Here, Ed. I'm done. I quit. You can all kiss any part of me that reaches your general vicinity first. You have seen the last of me. So a Rivadeci Roma. And to repay you all for this lousy trick that you played on me, you can all reach in here and grab your own damn condiments. That's dinner. Oh, man. Wow, you are fun to have around. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Tell me you didn't. Tell me you didn't. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, dog ate chocolate. And I don't know a lot about dogs, but I do know they shouldn't eat chocolate. I went to the animal hospital and they were closed and I called Babette and she told me where you lived. And you gotta do something, because this is not my dog. This is my fiance's dog. She loves him. She named him Paul Anka, which may on the surface not seem like a sign of love, but if you knew her, you'd get it. And believe me, there's a lot of ways I can screw up this relationship, but I cannot lose her over the fact that I killed her dog. I'll get the Ipecac. Come on in. 